What's up everyone? Welcome to Stream Setup Hub. In this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to optimize your Amazon Fire Stick for better performance and get access to a wide range of free and legal streaming options, including live content and sports channels where available. This setup takes just a few minutes, doesn't require any technical skills, and once you're done, you'll have a fully optimized Fire Stick with a smoother, more flexible streaming experience, all in a few simple steps. Let's get started. Step 1. Setting up the Fire Stick for downloads. First, let's delve into your Fire Stick to unlock developer options. This is super quick and easy. Grab your remote and follow along. From the Fire Stick home screen, slide right to Settings, then select My Fire TV. Scroll down to About, and here's the trick. Click the center button on your remote seven times. Keep clicking until a pop-up appears saying, You are now a developer. That's it. Quick and easy. Don't worry, it's completely safe and reversible. Step 2. Installing the Downloader app. Now that you've enabled developer options on your Fire Stick, we need one key app to install third-party applications. The Downloader app. Head back to the home screen, slide left to the magnifying glass, and click the center button to open the search. Type Downloader using the on-screen keypad. You'll see the app pop up after just a few letters. Highlight the orange downloader app, click the center button, and select Download. Once it's installed, don't open it just yet. We've got one more setting to tweak. Step 3. Enabling apps from unknown sources. To install apps outside the Amazon App Store, we need to adjust a setting. Go back to Settings, Select My Fire TV, and you'll now see developer options available. Next, scroll to Apps from Unknown Sources, find Downloader, and click to enable it. As well as this turn on ADB debugging as this is essential for installing third-party tools. Step 4. Using Downloader to install third-party apps. Let's open the Downloader app. Slide to the Apps icon on the home screen, scroll to the bottom where Downloader is, and click to launch it. You'll see a pop-up. Click Allow to allow access to your storage on your memory on the Fire Stick. In Downloader, swipe up, double-click the center button to bring up the URL field. All right, now let me provide to you the special URL code to access Live Sports First Type in the web address. 119368. It'll flash it on the screen to confirm for you. Double check it's correct, then click Enter. The site will load. Just give it some time, but if you see this screen, you know it's working. You may get a pop up like this, just click Accept with your Fire Stick remote. Once the download finishes, a prompt will appear. Click Install, wait a moment, and when it's done, select Done, you'll be back in Downloader. Delete the APK file to save space by clicking Delete twice. Now let's explore this amazing app to show you how it works. Your new app is ready, but it's at the bottom of your apps list. To make them easy to find, go to the apps icon on the home screen. Scroll to your new sports app, Press the three-line menu button on your remote and select Move to Front. Now, from the home screen, your apps will be right at the top for quick access. All right, now I'm going to walk you through the app real quick. Once you open it, just hit OK on the initial pop-up and you'll land right on the main dashboard. From here, you can explore a variety of streaming categories. The interface is user-friendly, with clearly labeled sections and smooth navigation. Content loads quickly, and you can easily switch between channels or categories without lag. Just take a minute to explore the menus. You'll see how simple it is to find what you're looking for. And that's it! Your Fire Stick is now fully set up and ready for streaming. Fast, simple, and reliable. If this video helped you out, hit that like button and subscribe for future updates. I'll be sharing more tips, tools, and app recommendations as things evolve, so stay tuned. Share this with someone who could use this video, and I'll catch you in the next one.